I know where my food goes. Sam charged into the kitchen. What's for lunch, Mom? I'm starving. Mm, let's see, said Mom. Stewed slugs, a nice plate of grilled worms in mud sauce. I know, she said. How about pizza with a strawberry ice cream for afters? Sam grinned. Yum, my mouth's gone all watery. That's because it's getting ready to eat something, said Mom. Lay the table for me, will you, Sam? Sam got out some knives and forks. Yeah, he said. I know all about that. The watery stuff's called s s something. Saliva, said Mom. Your body makes around 1.5 liters of it every day. That's about the same as eight glasses of milk. Oh, right, said Sam. But I know what saliva does. It makes food go all squishy. So I can swallow it. Yes, it does, said Mom. But what else should you do before you swallow food? Chew it and chomp it and crunch it all up, shouted Sam. And when it's all soft and slimy, I swallow it. It goes all the way down the food tube, from my mouth to my stomach. Right again, said Mom, handing Sam some plates. There's another word for your food tube, though, isn't there? Yes, said Sam. It's an os os ostrich. Well, nearly, said Mom. It's called an esophagus. Sam laughed. I bet an ostrich has got a long esophagus. I expect it has, said Mom. And a really skinny one, too. Yours is about half as long as your arm and only as wide as your thumb. And guess what, she said, as she put a pizza in the oven, even if you're standing on your head. Your food still goes straight to your stomach. Don't try eating upside down, though, will you? Or you might choke. Of course I won't, said Sam. But does it really? Yes, really, said Mom. The food doesn't just slide down your esophagus. The muscles inside it squeeze the food along, just like you squeeze toothpaste out of a tube. Oh, said Sam. Okay. But I know what happens next, Sam said. Put him two glasses on the table. My stomach is like a big stretch bag. And it squishes and squishes the food round and round until it's all gloopy and gloppy like soup. Yes, that's right, said Mom. And while the food's in your stomach is churned round and round with a watery mixture called the stomach juices that help turn the food into soupy stuff. Yeah, said Sam. That's what I'm saying. And and if you 
you swallow lots of air or fizzy drinks with your food, said the mom, filling up the water jug. You get air in your stomach, and sometimes the air comes rushing back up again, and you burp, yelled Sam. We have burping contests at school. Oh, do you? Said Mom. Well, that's why we're not having fizzy drinks. And she put the water jug down on the table. Anyway, I wasn't going to tell you about the burping, said Sam huffily. I was going to tell you what happens next. What happens next is the soupy stuff squirts out of my stomach into another tube. That's right, said Mom. There's a special muscle at the button of your stomach that works like a tap. It lets the soupy stuff out a bit at a time. Yes. Said Sam quickly, and the tube it goes into is called the intestine. Right again, said Mom. Though there are really two bits to the intestine. This first bit is called the small intestine, but it's not all that small. In fact, it's about five meters long. Wow," said Sam. "That's about as long as, as," mm, said Mom, thinking about it. "I don't know what it's as long as either, but it's about as tall as a giraffe, and it's all flooded up like spaghetti in a bowl, so it fits inside you." The small intestine is where all the good things in the soupy stuff get taken into your body," explained Mom. "That's what digestion is," she added, putting a big bowl of salad on the table. "It's the way your body breaks down food and takes the goodness out of it." To give you energy and help you grow. Sam sighed, and that's why you're always saying green stuff like spinach is good for me. He said, "Yuck! I have spinach. It's all slippery and slimy, and it tastes like yes, yes, all right." Said Mom, but vegetables really are good for you. They've got vitamins in them, and you need vitamins to keep you strong and healthy. I know, I know. Sam sat down at the table, but I know something else that happens in my intestine, and he giggled. There's gassy stuff in it too, isn't there? Cause that's why I fought. Well, yes, there is," said Mom. The gas comes from the bits of food that aren't used up in your small intestine. These waste bits are pushed into your large intestine and get broken down even further. That's what makes the gas," she smiled. "Your large intestine is a bit like your small intestine, but it's shorter and fatter. All the leftover bits get squeezed along until, well, until, until they reach my button." Said Sam, feeling very pleased with himself, and that's 
when I had to poo. See, he said, I told you I knew all about it, didn't I? Can I eat my pizza now?